Lee, what's up soldiers? My name is Greg FPS. Welcome to the Shangri-La Easter Egg Guide and also what actually happens if you guys have never seen it. So Shangri-La is one of the craziest Easter eggs. I want to give a big shout out to my buddy Grid Zombies who helped me record some of these things. He got different perspectives. We were playing together, so big shout out to him. Check him out down in the description. He posts some awesome zombies content. For this Easter egg, you're going to need four players, a napalm zombie, spike mores, an explosive weapon like the ray gun, for example, and a pack punch 3179 JGB215, aka the fractalizer, and that is the baby gun pack a punch. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So the first thing you need to do is you need to turn on power. Now this is going to be located down in the cave system. I recommend opening up the side that has the mystery box first because you're really going to want to get the wonder weapon as soon as possible. That totem will spin once you turn on both switches. I know it's kind of weird, but there's two switches on this map. Then you go to the middle where quick revive is. All four players have to press down the circular plate at the same time and it will cause the map to go into eclipse mode. You need to do this for every single step of the Easter egg from now until the end. So there's going to be these different rocks that have symbols on them. There's 12 on each side, so 24 total of the spawn room. So basically one person will step on it and then step off and tell the other person what the symbol was then the other person what I was doing was looking for that symbol and I would say when I was stepping on it and then that person would step on that symbol basically people have to be stepping on both of the symbols on either side of the map at the same time for them to sink in if you mess up you have to restart completely so if you're stepping on one symbol and someone else is stepping on another symbol it will be incorrect here is a little guide to show you all of the different symbols this is obvious Alright guys, so the next step, there's a pressure plate that is down at the bottom of the waterfall. Three people have to be standing on it and one person has to go down the waterfall and actually fall onto the pressure plate and once you do that, that is the next step of the easter egg. And this is actually going to cause a crystal to spawn above the waterfall that is located like near the mud room. And you also need to get the... 3179 JGB215 Wonder Weapon for this next step. So make sure you get that out of the mystery box. I would say try to get it before round 10 if you don't just restart and try to get it. We were lucky enough to get it round 4, but we did have to restart a couple times in order to get this. So make sure you guys don't do it too late of a round because it will make it way more difficult for the higher rounds that go on. And basically what you have to do is shoot a ray gun or an explosive at the crystal and it needs to fall down and you shoot Shoot it with the wonder weapon or the baby gun and then what you have to do is actually knife it I was looking way too far down I don't know why and basically it will cause it to go down the slide so uh, you just wait for it and it's just gonna roll down which is pretty cool and then it's gonna like roll out of it and actually go into the geyser and shoot up now you can shoot up with it it doesn't really matter but what it's gonna do is there's it's gonna actually land in that thing right there and as you can see it's just going to be right there so once you've done that step this is probably the most complicated step of the entire easter egg and it's one of the hardest because you have to be really careful so you go over to this wheel and you have to spin it four times and what it's going to do is cause some gas leaks to happen there's going to be four gas leaks and this is the part where you need a napalm zombie so what you need to do is actually lead the napalm zombie through the path that has the four leaking pipes and you need to make sure that you do not blow up the napalm zombie because if you do then you might possibly go down but you also need to get another napalm zombie which could take up to five rounds they basically spawn every couple of rounds and it could either be a shrieker or a napalm zombie so you definitely need a napalm zombie for this one it basically it's going to walk through the path and it's going to turn the gas leak into fire and uh basically you'll hear like a quote from brock and gary who are the people who are trapped that basically there's like a lava pit basically happening and basically you just have to lead them through all of them and that will cause them all to light on fire now just lead it through the path you're basically going to power 
through the entire path and also another player has to go back to where that spinning wheel was as soon as all four of the gas leaks are lit on fire there's actually going to be a lever and you have to go up to it and press square if you're on playstation or x if you're on xbox and actually pull the lever down or else you will not be able to complete the step you need to do it like as soon as possible so one person has to be over there my friend grizz was actually the one doing that step so once you've done this then you're going to need to get spike mores which are located in the power room and i recommend either using the napalm zombie that you just used or get some crawlers and there's four holes in the wall you basically have to lay down the spike mores at the four locations and lead zombies through it and it will cause the spike mores to actually one of the spikes will go in and actually block the hole that are there so there's four of them like i said in this tunnel it's the one connected to the like waterfall bottom area and in this area guys there's actually a brick that is sticking out of the middle and it says do not hold x or don't hold x and basically you just press x and it will actually push in the brick and that will cause the water to be stopped from leaking out of those holes that were actually in the cave. So once you've done that correctly, then you're all set. The next thing is going to be 12 different plates around the map and you have to go up to them and knife them. This step is not too, too difficult, but there's 12 panels total, five in the spawn, two in the mud room, two in the stakeout room between the waterfall base and power, two by the minecart, and one in the power area. So once you've done this, then there's this little like teepee looking thing that is kind of like a tent and it's made out of sticks right near the minecart area and you basically have to throw an explosive at it and it will cause it to break and then you've done that step correctly now at this time you're also going to want to pack a punch the 3179 jgb215 wonder weapon and basically you're going to end up going back into eclipse mode and basically that's why you need this wonder weapon pack a punch it's definitely really really important so now there's these circular things and there's different symbols you need on them the first one is actually going to be four dots and this is the one directly to the left of the spawn room once you go in this mud room area you need three dots there the next one is going to be directly actually behind it and it can be really time consuming because you gotta <clears throat> excuse me move through the mud and on this one you need three dots and then we had to restart multiple times so i was just doing this one again which was the four dots one now once you do those two then you have to go over here i recommend having three players do it one person train a zombie and then one person has to do two of them and you go over here to this one and this one is actually just one dot and the one on the other side is like a C with a line and then a dot. So once you get all of those done, then you've done it correctly. And this is the part that gets the most complicated out of all of them. And it's honestly really, really difficult to actually complete and do it in a timely manner so there's a radio at the bottom of the pack a punch area and this is why you need the wonder weapon pack a punch now basically there's going to be gongs around the map and this is randomized every single game so it's not always going to be the same if you knife a gong in the wrong order you'll see the focusing stone light red now what you need to do is actually knife the correct gong and if you knife the correct one then it will not light up red so as you can see i did that one there's four you have to do it in the correct order and once you do that a treyarch symbol will appear and what you actually have to do is shoot the focusing stone that is above the mud room and it's going to make like a noise like ding 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 and basically dynamite will actually drop once it hits it and you actually have to catch the dynamite which can be very very complicated one person has to stand under it and you kind of got to like move back as it drops and you'll see it in your inventory there now once you do this step then you actually need to open up the pack a bunch area and you have to bring the dynamite to this wall at this time the pack a bunch machine will not be there so you actually have to drop the dynamite and it will leave your inventory you just go up to the wall and press square and if for some reason he kind of like glitched into the wall and you could see the mini meteorite so once you drop that then you have to shoot 
the wonder weapon again at the one that is above the mudroom, the focusing stone, and you go up to the top of the tower again by opening up the pack a bunch area or the stairs, and you'll see the focusing stone there, which is a shrunk meteorite. So that's why you need to shoot the focusing stone above the mudroom because it will cause it to charge, <clears throat> excuse me, and it will actually shrink the focusing stone, uh, which is pretty awesome. So once you end up doing this, the person who grabs the focusing stone will actually get all eight perks on the map and also you will get the achievement time traveler will tell which is 75 gamer score so anyways guys hope you enjoyed this video it took a lot of time to edit all the clips together and also a lot of game time to actually do this it ended up taking us about two hours to complete now sometimes it can take less sometimes it can take more it all depends on who you're playing with and if they're knowledgeable so anyways guys thank you so much for watching this video if you did enjoy be sure Sure to drop it a like subscribe if you're new to my channel i like to post daily zombies content anything to do with story easter eggs guides tips and tricks anything that has to do with zombies i poke post it here on my channel and sometimes just like regular call of duty stuff so thank you for watching my name is craig fps and i'll see you guys later peace out